Andy, it's away. No one really likes to lose, losing on penalties. What are your overall reaction from the game? Yeah, as I said, it's always is the worst way uh, in football. Um, and um, and as I said, they, they give credit to the girls who, who took a penalty, showed some uh, showed some bottles to take them. So, you know what I mean? It's nobody's fault missing the penalty. It's, uh, it's just one of those things. It has to be a loser, unfortunately, and today it was us uh, in the game. Um, where do I start? Offensively, we were we were excellent. Defensively, we weren't. Um, and that's been probably the opposite switch um, for the majority of the season where today we looked every time we got the ball we looked like we were going to cause them some damage but defensively every time they got the, got the ball they caused us problems and um, and one of the girls in particular just uh, just just killed us every time she got the ball really. I think the overall or the overriding feeling is of course negativity that comes with the defeat especially in the cup one penalties but to touch on a positive Faye Dale outstanding today um, how impressed were you with her? We'll talk about uh, unplayable I thought her and uh, Leanna Giles were just unplayable I thought they were both brilliant and uh, and I was so pleased that she got uh, a reward from her performance you know that uh, that she scored a goal uh, and then got another goal and got another goal and you know because it breeds confidence she's been brilliant the last couple of weeks but uh, but I think goals show and reward centre forwards and attacking players so for, for her to get the three today was, was fantastic and coming off um, apologising because she, she didn't finish the game just says it all about our group really you know that she's a, a cracking young player who wants to get better and better and better and improve and you know what I, I, I get so much um, ple uh, pleasantries out of making people like her better footballers and scoring goals and giving the confidence Again, not, not a touch on the negatives, but we won. We were winning 2-0, 3-1, 4-3. There's, of course, a, a big negative. What do you put that down to? Uh, concentration, because uh, for three of the goals, they scored straight after we scored. Um, and, you know what I mean, you've got to be accountable for once we score, that we, 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 we get the two banks of four, or so four, three, three, and we sit in our good areas. And um, we didn't do that. Um, and we didn't learn from our mistakes. You know what I mean? The, the first mistake turned into another mistake, and another mistake turned into another mistake, and, and the mistake turned into goals. And, we can't afford to do that because, uh, and no, no disrespect to, uh, to Charlie, that we make those kind of mistakes against uh, against teams in our league. We're going to get punished tenfold, and we can't afford to do it. You know, what I mean, we've got some big games coming up in the league, uh, coming up towards Christmas. Um, we're going to be disappointed in the next couple of weeks without a game, but um, Burnley at home is huge, and Sheffield away the following week is even bigger. So we need to be yeah, bang on, um, look after ourselves um, the next ten days or so. Um, Walk, get the walking wounded back and, and hopefully get our confidence back and uh, make sure this is a distant, distant memory. And you touched on those two games there, obviously Burnley and Sheffield coming up. It's a little wild because obviously it was due to be FA Cup, that obviously sadly won't be now. Um, it's a word that's often used in football a lot, but it's an important one. What have you learned about the team today that you can take into those games with the weeks you've got off? Um, I've learned a lot. We, we, we showed character. Um, and that's one thing we did. We showed determination. We showed how fit we are. We showed how that we that we that we carried on for 120 minutes. But I knew we had that because we've been working a lot on fitness. We've been working um, a lot on a a attacking movements, which is pleasing that the things we worked on in training uh, came to fruition today. But unfortunately, we we let four goals in, which is just not, isn't acceptable for the group. And it's not aimed at um, goalkeeping defence because I thought Rosie made a save for every one of the goals potentially. You know, what I mean? which is fantastic. But unfortunately, they end up going in. Um, I thought a penalty save was fantastic during the game. I was unlucky with the rebound. But defensively, we've been really strong over the last um, last month. So we need to get back to that. We need to understand that this is a this is a it was a one-off game. Um, really disappointed that we didn't win, but we can't afford this to happen again. And I think obviously you touched on um, the games coming up. We've talked about those games that are coming up as well and, and how important they are. Um, everyone's disappointed. You can feel that, and that's natural with the way that comes. But um, how do you begin to pick the group up just now? Um, it's hard in there. You know, I mean, there's a lot of upset people. Uh, visibly, uh, very upset. Um, a lot of tears, but we we'll go back on the bus. We'll we'll try and uh, pick them up as best we can on the way home today. Uh, we'll make things as fun as we can uh, coming up over the next couple of weeks. We probably need to have a little bit of a rest uh, because we've had a, a busy schedule. We had a, a, a game on a heavy pitch today, so um, we need to get smiles back on our faces and um, and look forward because you know what I mean. Yes, we've been knocked out of the FA Cup, but we've got two huge games coming up before Christmas. And we've got to make sure that we get um, at least four, if not six points, from those two games. Perfect, Andy. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. You.